Okay, this is Harold again from the Hidden Room Studio. Uh, this video is about the chord editing function in the MIDI editor in Cubase. Whenever I see people in another door print in or type in their chords in the editor, in the MIDI editor, they use individual notes. Uh, in Cubase you don't have to do that. You have an uh, editor where you can put in complete chords, uh, very easy and very fast. And let me show you how that works. In Cubase I'm starting with my basic um, template I use for all my songs whenever I start a new song. And here I have my piano on Haley and a MIDI editor. When I open the MIDI editor on the left side you see the individual functions you have. And here you have one function called chord editing. If you don't have that or if you don't see that you just have to click on it and then it opens. Whenever you use the chord editor or you use the editor for the MIDI editing the first thing you see from the arrow of the mouse is the normal arrow you have for selecting something like here. Uh, on the left side here now I have the possibility to put in chords into the editor without um, having to worry about what the chords actually are constructed of. Uh, let me show you on the left side I can select for example here insert a major chord and what I do is I click on this little arrow and then I have the pencil tool. So what I have to do now is I select the root note of the chord and then I can insert the chord here. My quantizing stands on uh, four one fourth note and also the length quantize is on one fourth. So the sh shortest of the length of a note is a fourth. Uh, you can but also make it longer just by dragging on it. I'll, sh I'll show you this. You just type on the C and then you make it longer or you just make it shorter. The shortest one is here, the fourth. Then go here and just put in all the chords you need. Uh, let me go from here to E. Okay, to F. And after that I want to have a minor chord. I go here on the chord editor and put in the F minor. Okay, let me correct that. Okay, let's listen to that. If you wonder about this chord progression, um, this is I borrowed from a video from Rick Beato about the lawsuit between Coldplay and uh, Lana Del Rey. And the chord progression itself is a one, three, major, four and four minor. So what you get when you type in the chords like this is you get the basic um, root version of the chord. So you just click on the root note and then you have the the third and you have the fifth. Um, but normally I don't want it like this because all those jumps are too high for me. I don't like the sound of this. Um, so you normally work with inversions. So what you can do here is just to select the chord and here on the left side you see up here the chord type it's an E and here you have the possibility to make inversions. So move the highest note to the bottom or move the lowest note um, to the top to make an inversion of the chord. So let's go like this. Go to the second chord. Yep. Like this, put this down. And this. And you cannot only make the um, inversions here you can also drop notes so if you like the way if you don't like the way the chords are played you just can select the chord and then you can drop the second highest note or the third highest note an octave lower you can also like this then it's an octave lower so you have the bass note if you want for a piano want for example the chords to be played with both hands separated over the whole key keyboard okay let's go back what else can you do here? Um, you can, for example, put in uh, four not chords or more chords. Uh, it's like here you can put in uh, seventh chords, major chords, minor chords, uh, minor seventh chords. And for example, if I go like here, let me go, yeah, let me take 
like this. Um, okay, this is the C7. Now I duplicate this. Then from the C7, um, we go to the F7. So to, uh, I guess the F. We go back to the C. Now we go to the G, which is the 5, here, the 5th chord, go back to the F, and to the 1, and to the 5. So now we have, oops, we have our basic 12 bar blues. Again, I don't like the way the chords sound because this jumps here from one chord to the other chord is too high. So all I can do is I select the left side I see the F7 chord, then I go to the inversion and then I put another inversion like this. Then go here, invert it also here, like this, and then this again down. Okay. Okay. So Another interesting function is um, you can work from here also with the chord track. Um, I won't go into deep into the chord track here. This is time for another video for the chord track alone. But what you can do here is uh, you can create chord symbols from this. So select all, everything you have, go to create chord symbols here, click on this and uh, it will ask you for some options and then you click on OK and you have here in the chord track you have the chord symbols so you can see what we had in our basic blues the C7 then the F7 over C the C7 again the G7 over B the F7 over C the C7 and the G7 over B uh, this is the way uh, you can for example analyze a MIDI uh, track uh, you got from somebody and you don't want to look in all the notes he played and want to analyze what chords he played. This is a quick and dirty version of going uh, to analyze the MIDI track. So there's another uh, function you have here and it says not only create the chord symbols here, you can also uh, match with the chord track. So you can change your chords according to the chord track. So let's try this. We duplicate this just for once and we have an empty chord track here. So then we go to the chord track here Oops, and insert in the chord track some chords here. Let's go to whatever we want to use. Let's go D major. Okay. Uh, okay, we also do D major. The next Whatever we can take, we can use the chord assistance to find something that sounds good. Go to A, go to E, go to this. E, okay, to D, D, A, E, we go back to D, we go to A, go back to D, D again. Okay, that's it for now. Um, let's go back. So what we can do here is um, we select the chord 
in the position here and we can see here C7 and if we go to a match with chord track and click on it it will change to D over A which is the D we had here on the uh, on the chord track. Let's go to the next chord you can do that or you have to do that individually because um, if the number of chords or different chords is different from the numbers of the chord track so if you have for example more chords in your MIDI track than that are on the chord tracks then it won't detect it right so we go to the next one go match with chord track also changing D over A then go to this A over C sharp D over A A. I don't know which one was the last one we had. It's in 18. Okay. Uh, stop here. Up. Up, let's go here. Okay. So we changed these chords very fast from the chords that were on the MIDI track to the chords that are on the uh, chord track. Okay, to sum it all up, what you can do in the chord editor is you can insert very fast chords by selecting them here on the left side. You can make inversion, you can drop notes, you can create the chord symbols on the chord track if you want to analyze, and you can change the chords according to the chord track when you select them and go on match with chord track. So that's it for now for a short video on editing um, the chords in the MIDI editor. I hope you liked it. If you did so, just subscribe and there's more videos to come up. Uh, and the next one will be about the chord track itself. Thanks from Harold and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.